Just arrived at the airport and we are at the East Terminal, but we have to go to another one. So we're just carrying all this stuff. Can't believe this is happening right now. Also, I know the beginning of the video was very chaotic, but I promise I'll explain everything later. It's just we had a lot of help from some neighbors and some friends, so I wasn't able to fully vlog because I wasn't very comfortable vlogging in front of other people. How do you feel, Aiden? Good. Yeah? You were literally about to cry like two minutes ago. No. Yeah? No. There's a little bit of technical difficulties with, with her ticket. They forgot one letter at the end of her last name. So we might have to get her ticket reissued and stuff. Mm. Finally made it four hours later through baggage check in. That was the most stressful, horrific. most gut wrenching experience I have ever been through. We are now only going through security. <laughs> what are those? It ain't been easy. security guys and I have like a pulsing feeling in my forehead like right here it's like it was so stressful I'll explain everything we're going to find our gate right now we are what number are we we're 78 so we have to go upstairs yeah I just need to sit down right now guys you don't even know what just happened. Happy birthday! Bro, that's mine. We found our gate, we just got Tim's. It's also Amina's birthday, and this was like the most chaotic birthday she's ever had, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's so like ironic, because when we first arrived to Canada like two years ago, it was on Aiden's birthday, and now it's on Amina's birthday that we're leaving. Okay guys, so we're finally on the plane as you can see Thank God we somehow made it on today I was literally ready to go home after everything that happened in the past like three hours Like I was mentally preparing myself like oh, I gotta tell everybody that we are back home now again but anyway so what happened was there was a mistake in my sister's passport so they forgot one letter at the end of her last name so now everything was messed up 
they couldn't change it because we also got the tickets from like a third party like Expedia or something and they're very irresponsible so they didn't want to change any so there was this whole stress like it it was so bad like we were the first ones in the line and the lady told us oh you'll have to call Expedia and fix the thing and we couldn't just cancel a ticket because we have four tickets and we have three different flights that we have to be on so it was this whole thing but at the end like in the last hour we got a new ticket we had to argue with Expedia like this is your guys's problem like this is your responsibility to go and fix this now and they finally did it the moral of the story don't order tickets from a third party because they will always be a mess if anything goes wrong because they don't want to own up to their actions and take responsibility i also didn't specify where we're flying through right now basically we are flying to frankfurt right now which is going to be around nine hours and then in frankfurt we're going to be there for two hours so it's going to be very rush 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 we have to be very like quick and efficient with how we do things and then from frankfurt we're going to fly to kuwait but in kuwait we're not going to get off the plane. We're going to stay on it. And the people who want to get off in Kuwait, they're going to get off while we just wait for them to get off. And then right away on the same plane that was from Frankfurt, we're going to fly to Dammam, which is in Saudi Arabia. And then from Dammam, we're going to take a car and drive to the city where we're going to be living in. Ivan, how do you feel? Yeah? Are you excited? <laughs> do you want to film for me? Oh, when we move. Update for you guys. So we just got served food. Airplane food has never been the most appetizing, but I'll try to eat what I can. Not very appealing to the eyes, and the smells are also very suspicious, but we'll do what we can. I'm honestly just going to try and just butter my bread right now. Thank you. Coke. There's also a random block of cheese. Marble cheddar cheese. This is what we're eating. Woo! Mmm, bread and cheddar cheese. I just thought I'd do a little bit of skincare and, you know, maybe have a nap. I've just watched two movies, so I'm a little tired now. Right 
some reason they couldn't find us a gate, so we had to get off the plane manually. We literally have 20 minutes until our rest. You can't. We literally have to run to our gate. Even though our taxi driver did park at B, so now we just have to find B30. We literally thank God for our taxi driver because he parked right outside of B. I think he parked at like B15, so we just have to run and find B30. It's over there somewhere. We have 15 minutes to spare. We were supposed to originally have 20. 22 hours hey guys so i haven't updated you guys in like five hours so the last thing you guys saw was when we arrived in frankfurt at our gate b30 and after that everything was just so chaotic we only had 25 minutes so everything had to be done very fast we went and got some food we got like a mozzarella focaccia and then we just sat at our gate for a little bit and we got on the plane and then on the plane we literally all knocked out we're sitting in like these four seats we all knocked out that's how tired we were anyways after we all knocked out and like fell asleep it was only like four hours later that we all woke up this flight was only like five hours or something so we woke up four hours later we ate a little bit and right now we're in kuwait we're just sitting because the people who wanted to get off at Kuwait already got off on the plane, so now it's just like less than half the people who want to go to Damam that are still sitting here. But yeah, my brother can't sit in one spot, so he just keeps climbing over me. Ow, I don't. Sir? Ow, ow. Like, what are you doing? So today's Amina's birthday and yesterday. yesterday and the ladies on the plane gave her something. Oh, that's so cute. They gave like a plastic cup to it. A Lufthansa cup and some chocolates. Happy belated birthday. We just arrived in Dhamam. It's so cool. It smells so good. We're on the moving base. baggage claim after we went through security and like document checking and stuff so now we just have to go pile up our baggages that's actually all our stuff over there because number four already finished apparently so all our stuff is just laying there <laughs> Guys, we just arrived. My dad is here. My dad is here. Anyways, guys, that'll be the end of this week's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I know this was kind of a video that a lot of people have been looking forward to. I'm happy to finally provide you with this entertainment, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Bye.